This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Head over to DynamicBeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprite. Episode 2, Contemplation. Alright, I got about two hours left that I can stream, and then I gotta watch The Flash. Mother of Falls! My life is awesome! Just like you two men! Fun shit! Go on without me! We'll regroup later! You heard him, game! Go! You stay the hell alive, Fisher! Yo, Fernandez. Check it. Is this the place? The bossed? Whatever? Yeah. Where life begins. <sighs> that Thompson's? Yeah. I'll be examining this. <laughs> oh, both! Keith! Okay, too. Oh, I knew it was you guys. Sure, you did. <laughs> uh, any requests? You know, I would think in a situation like that, where you're being chased by bio-monsters, you wouldn't want to give away your position like that by having the jukebox playing. We woke up in the middle of the woods. How about you? Some kind of rundown prison. <laughs> Gabe. Gina's dead. Thompson's gone too. Yeah, but I remember to take his bracelet. Eddie would want me to find out how it ticks. You chopped off his fucking hand? Sometimes you have to make the hard choice. Come on, let's see what's in this building. <laughs> that costume she is wearing is ridiculous. Infected with something. Oh, that bitch man. stuck a needle in me? Just put it out of your head. Redfield, walk with me. Come on. I gotta show you something over here. Man, I hope Fisher's okay. Neil? Neil was with you? Yeah. We got split up on the way here. Uh, 
Ooh, a chopper! Do you think you can fly this? Once I repair it, but there's not enough voltage. It needs a new battery, and some fuel. Oh, and we're gonna find exactly what we need in this shit dump. From my experience, yes. Help me look. your help could use your help Let's see what kind of shit we can find. You're dead. Pedro. Don't scare me like that, Claire. Look, check out what I found. If you see any weak walls, I bet I could drill through. Hey, boy, Pedro. See if there's anything we can use inside. 
sight. October 11, 2008. So I found this little island in a dusty old book. And it's not listed on any maps or anything. So I thought, cool, a chance for adventure on an uncharted island. I'm so there. Chartering a helicopter to get there wasn't cheap. As soon as we touched down, the local seized the chopper and took me into custody. So not cool. And now I'm locked up in this dirty old room. These dudes are whacked. I can't explain how, but you know how you just look at someone and something's not right? Yeah, major bad vibes here. October 12th. So these dudes have been debating on what to do with me. How about letting me go? I've been telling them over and over I just came for the adventure. They're not listening. This is so not cool. October 19th. So apparently these dudes can't wrap their head around the idea of what an outsider could find this place. Like, hello? It's the technology age. What can't a person find if they looked hard enough? But you know, I'm starting to feel like coming here wasn't such a good idea. Two goddamn months, and I'm still here. This is bullshit. Something bad is happening. I haven't seen anyone, and I can't see it, but I can hear animal-like growling. What the fuck? They haven't forgotten about me in here, right? Right? December 19th. No food, no water, got some rainwater. It helps. No energy to even catch a rat. Not gonna last. Water, 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 God please, water. I'll take your gun, though. can get through with that drill of his? Only one way to find out. Oh, fuck! Come on, Pedro! We could use that drill of yours right now, if you don't mind doing a little demolishing. No problema. Just point me in the right direction. Anyone else? Okay, we're in. Thank you.
Come on, that wasn't even close to fair. <laughs> that was right in his goddamn face. That's everything. Let's bring it back to Gabe. I managed to trace the brakes of transmissions. They're coming from the north. Some place high up, if I had to guess. We're getting full bars. Yeah, no interference. Nice work, Pedro. Her location might be the key to getting off the island. That should be everything you need. Good work, Redfield. Not that I'm surprised. Now it's my turn to work some magic. Greasy, chopper-repairing voodoo magic. Huh? You have got to be kidding me. It's the Overseer. She's luring those things right toward us. But that's not fair! What do we do? We try to speed up the chopper repairs. Somebody kill that goddamn siren! All right, we'll take care of it. It's coming from the bar. Please get that thing fixed. Ah, shit! I was hoping I could dodge. Oh crap. Can't they drop ammo like they did in Resident Evil 4?
Oh god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, so shooting him does nothing. You gotta tell me twice. Shit. Military. The man eats danger for breakfast and craps it through here. Give me a hand. Ready? Lift. Go. You too. Hurry. You know, I'm I'm glad you're okay. Gabe said you guys got split up. Yeah, but I run fast. Jim leadership. So, uh, what was that monster back there? It was Pedro. The overseer gave us all some kind of viral injection. The virus triggered in Pedro when he got too scared. I think I've heard of that. A virus that responds to fear. Jesus. We're supposed to be protecting people from viruses, not catching them. Irony sure is a dick. Moira, I don't think you actually met Neil. He's our boss. Neil Fisher. You're Barry Burton's girl, right? Your dad's in the BSAA? Do me a favor, and don't put Barry and me in the same sentence. Sir. Uh, nothing like daddy issues.
Pedro said the signal came from high up. That's gotta be it. That tower thing. The overseer might be inside. I say we go find out. Uh, bad idea. We should wait for dawn. By dawn, we might all end up like Pedro. The clock's ticking, Neil. Mutated pig dogs? Do your thing, bikini lady! One more time. Well, a lot of good that did. Go boom. Go boom. There we go. Yeah, we got an achievement for that too. I thought I saw something up here. <laughs> 